TTMT and King D Money here with the D and D Leveling Up podcast. Hey guys, we know the information that we are giving you guys is leveling up your lives in so many great ways. First things first, though, we need you guys to like, comment, subscribe, and share. That is so essential, guys, and we'll catch you in the podcast. Deuces. They're trying to revamp from Friday night. Oh, really? They're not gonna. Nobody's gonna be listening. To you. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's gonna like, listen to you. Unless you got a machine behind you, don't do it Monday because Monday is when everybody just wants to just to drop their just stuff. chill. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Or or it's the ramp up for the month for the for the week. Yeah. So you're gonna get lost in all the decisions they're gonna make on Monday morning. Yeah. That's true. And it was like, you would do one drop Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Mm. Man, because it's just one of those areas where everything kind of like deflates. The weekend yeah. is just like overtaken, overtaken by, by everybody else mm-hmm. who already kind of have their stuff being released at that time. Especially them people, you know, you watch, if you got, you got people watching football games, basketball games, mm-hmm. you got people watching sports and yeah. everything that's happening on the weekend, you got award shows, award shows. Yeah. Everybody's talking about that Monday morning. They talking about the Oscars right now. Right. Yeah. So if you got something you want to put out on yeah. your own, you gotta that's not, you know what I'm saying, push by machine. Uh-huh. Not on not on Mondays. He said not Mondays <laughs> or <weekend. laughs> I was like or, or Fridays. Yeah. But you know what? I post what? my newsletter articles on Monday and Friday. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? You, see that? See? Yeah. You, you, you know the interesting thing it's is. It's the little tweaks, bro. It's the I think tweaks. it's going to change. Yeah, change a things. lot of things going on. Yeah. Me. A lot of things are changing. You know, I was I was listening with my friend. He was telling me that when he was on Club Shay Shay, Cat Williams, mm-hmm. that was an interview. Because he really didn't. He just kind of basically just tell, asked some questions. And he didn't really. He didn't chime in. When he was on Joe Rogan. That's a podcast in his mind because mm-hmm. Joe Rogan is, is, expa- is expanding on what he said. Right. And you know what I'm saying? Instead of it, him just interviewing him, he was, he was speaking, then Joe Rogan would speak, and then he would speak again. So, like, the dynamic is different. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is actually, like, he said, like, it, I could watch anything else. Like, if, if you're not going to be free, he said, I said, you still have to have some type of, you know, structure with uh-huh. your content. Yeah. So, if you plan on being there, like, you should be informed, like, like before um, we talk, like like D wanted to get your phone number so you could you know kind of get a, a, a mm-hmm. viewpoint of how you are, what yeah. type of individual you look. He's he's he's, he's looking at perspective. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So you can get an understand like how what kind of questions I'm going to form in my mind to do. And this is part of our podcast too, mm-hmm. yeah. giving people an under, understanding and perspective of like how to do their podcast themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like one of our aspects is to help people level up their podcast mm-hmm. as well as just level up in general. You know, we kind of we kind of align. Like when I started talking to you, I was like, "Yeah, man, we kind of align with the same type of principles, like spiritually, financially, emotionally, physically, mentally, and physically. All these things that mm-hmm. we're always ourselves are trying to do. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but you know, it's aligned when you're trying to do the exact same thing. I'm like, mm-hmm. "Oh, you're trying to do the same thing. What are you doing? Yeah, Inspire cool. people to do it. You gonna say something? No, no, no. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm really inspired by what's going on today. Yeah, I was on. Uh, a little worried. <laughs> yeah, Let it have a transparent moment, though. Yeah. Like, yeah, so. I didn't know you were coming on to yesterday. Uh, <laughs> in a text. Yeah. I, tried to, I, <laughs> I don't have the name of your, your newsletter yeah. or any, anything about you. So I'm like, I'm like, like is Dirk trying to have on conversations when he's just talking the whole time? <laughs> no. uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm like he's going he's gonna to be the one that's going to be able to talk the whole time because he knows you. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, this is not going to work out. Yeah. I was like, let me get his number so I can call you. Then I was like, you know what? I'm just ask better questions. I'm gonna ask, better questions. ask I'm gonna better questions. Back. I'm gonna yeah. ask better questions. I'm gonna sit back and okay. Yeah. That's good. We're gonna see what we got going on. If I need to ask yeah. a bunch of questions, that's true. Then I'm gonna jump in. Yeah. But like today, mm-hmm. I didn't have to mention anything about motorcycles. Yeah. But it's what what I've experienced. What experience and, what and it's the way I can relay life, the rest of life, to what's mm-hmm. going on. Exactly. Something that I'm passionate about exactly. is going to look better yeah. than a story that I just exactly. read out of somebody's And we talked about that, too. Because, somebody's podcast. Because yeah. you, you kind of mentioned that, too, before. It's like, bro, people want to hear your story. People want to hear your story. story. You know I saying? was like, Dirk, man, <laughs> tell me your story. Yeah, exactly. Because if you tell me somebody else's, there's mm-hmm. a lot of people telling other people's story, bro. Yeah. Unless you're going to make it like super, super interesting. I mean, like, you're going to have, 
you know, graphics going on behind yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. It, that's when people start listening yeah, to yeah. you giving other people's testimony. True. Yeah. It's like, it's not really them looking at you. It's not yeah. really them even listening to yeah, you. They're paying yeah. attention to everything else going on yeah. around you. Yeah. And that's what's, that's what people watch nowadays. True. And you know, but I, I, I kind of explained it was, Deji, that I was setting it up for something else. I was relating my story to somebody else's story. So mm -hmm. I was telling the story first. But the good thing is that you, in your mindset, it's good to have the mindset like, listen, I don't have to have everything in place all the time. Not all the time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't have to have, I don't have to have control of the situation to be able to function. Yeah. It's like, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're still able to function I'm here. still able to function. And yes, still sir. be like, because to be honest with you, the podcast is really, to be honest, the best podcast when it, when it comes to us is one of the most relaxed. Yeah. And we're most not trying to like, okay, we're trying to be like this and kind of be robotic and have right. these type of things going on. If we don't hit this mark, then it becomes this. The the It's the things that are in the moment. You know, like just allowing, like mm -hmm. just making the decision to allow the moment to be for what it was. Mm -hmm. Instead of being like, hey guys, we got to start here. And, and did you stop? We, we, it's a great conversation. Right, Let's right, stop right. and do this. But you allow the the momentum of, of the conversation talking about music in the beginning because we're all musicians mm -hmm. and just let it flow. And then it started with the then, then we get into, you know get into stuff we need to some housekeeping. Exactly. Yeah. Then you get housekeeping. You know what I'm saying? And then, then yeah. we can go back and be like, okay, this is the hook. Before you say, okay, Deji says the five things of mastery, cut it off. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then go back and make that the hook. And then you can go back and then explain it. You know what I'm saying? You can leave it up to that point, whatever the case, how you're going to edit it. But at least you know in your mind, like, that you've allowed. That's a, that's, a, that's a good level up, but I'm proud of you because that gives you a different understanding of like, mm -hmm. I don't have to control everything. I can mm -hmm. let things be as they are. I control what I'm doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I just like, why don't you just ask better questions? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I don't know, just ask good questions. Because say, for instance, you don't do all the, the, the background that you need to. I know certain background, but there's certain things I don't know about him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So certain things he's going to have to reveal on his own, but he he's, he's well enough. Uh, uh, of an eloquent speaker, he can kind of can continue talking yeah. on his own. We could probably let you continue talking a lot longer than this, mm -hmm. to be honest yeah. with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it depends on the type of individual that we have sitting here. But at the same time, you got to have the confidence in yourself to be like, listen, yeah, I'm just going to let things flow. I'm going to ask, I'm going to be better in myself. If I ask better questions, I'm a better interviewer. And whatever I can do to learn from this, I can see it la later on going back. Okay, what kind of questions did I ask? Did I do open-ended questions, closed-ended mm -hmm. questions? What kind of questions am I asking when I ask individuals? Are they getting everything out of me? Or am I getting everything out of the guest? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And moving out the way and being able to give the the, the, the um, audience, inform them of what the scope of what this individual is saying. But it's, it's, it's at the same time, not, I don't say but, in addition to, <laughs> that's what I learned from, uh, yeah, from yeah, my friend Ed, Ed, Ed Rawls. Yeah, you know Ed Rawls? Yeah. Singer for a lot of them. I've heard Tall him. guy. He's, okay. he's great singer, bro. Okay. Masterful singer. Mm -hmm. He's like, look, man, mm -hmm. don't say but. Yeah, because it refutes everything. It refutes said. everything you just, just somebody just said. It just exactly. kind of knocks it all off. I'm exactly. like, oh, whatever you got to say. Exactly. I'm not saying but now. Mm -hmm. But in, in addition to, <laughs> but in addition to, in, in addition to yeah. what's what we're talking about, man. Great points. Mm -hmm. My point, what I'm what I'm working on myself though, mm -hmm. is being prepared enough mm -hmm. to let things flow and still get the job done. done yeah, like you still have to prepare. Yeah, to know what Some, you want at to, the end of this, exactly. it can be yeah. whatever it wants to be. Yeah, but you get to go. You know what I'm saying? You get to be like water. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. If you study hard study enough, you get to be, be like, like water. water. Exactly. Yeah. If you, you don't, you're in the square. You're in the square, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like improvising, it's like you, you being able to improvise is like being like water, but there's so much back end work. Yeah, back so end much back end work for the work, yeah. for water yeah. to even be made. <laughs> yes, yeah. You got to put the H, the 2, and the O. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like that. You got to put the A's yeah. in the, then the two and the no. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't yeah. get it without the, without that. You yeah, don't get water. Yeah, yeah. You don't get water. Yeah. <laughs> elements. Elements. Yeah, elements. 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 Yeah. Elements. Elemental. Yeah. I can empathize with that because <laughs> I I'm, watch that I'm, very, movie. I'm very, um, I like to be super prepared myself in everything that I do. Like, yeah. like I'm, like Dirk probably, you probably uh, got uh, gotten that hint from like the way like I'm like, hey, 
There's too much going on in the yeah, lesson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll let me know. Like, Y'all give me too much uh, information. Like, I didn't prepare. <laughs> That's right. why it's, 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 no, it's, 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 it's like oh. I need a process. Process, yeah. I need to process what you just said yeah. so that I can be ready for what you're trying to say now. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because okay. yeah. like, it's like um, when it comes up to like, you know, music, there's so many things to practice. So it's mm -hmm. like, but I don't feel like you can truly prepare if you're not if you're not actually internalizing all the steps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like if I haven't internalized a certain step mm -hmm. and and then Dirk's like thinks I have, so he's trying to add some more stuff on to it. Like, yeah. And I'm like I haven't got like, what you got yeah. down here. Exactly. Yet. Look, I, I feel like I I feel like the musician um community is suffering suffering from FOMO, bro. Oh really? Fear of missing out. That's why we got so many people trying to learn so many different styles at one time. Yeah, yeah. You have the fear of missing out on the next gig. Yeah. But if you know you can master this yeah. style, yeah. then you know you can master the next style, one. Yeah. If you knew that, though. Yeah. If you knew that. If you knew it. Yeah, because you would be yeah. like, you'd be like, hey, it's just gonna take. It's exactly. just gonna happen later. Later. You, it's it's the need. It's the need to fulfill a desire that you that's based on what you think other people think of you. And what you and what you, and what you feel like you can provide, how yeah. you can, how you're providing for your family while being a musician. Yeah. Most of the time out yeah. here, if you don't know all, if you don't know at least three or four styles, yeah. you're stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Because the top forty gig. Yeah. It ain't all. It, no, it's not. It ain't, it ain't all that. It's not gonna be that. It's not gonna be all of that. It's gonna be other stuff. They gonna wanna. They gonna wanna. Um, some, um, some calypso or some, some reggae. They gonna wanna. I love it when you so, call me. Especially <laughs> down here, you gonna have to know some type of Latin. So I have a question yeah, yeah, for both yeah. of you guys. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um. Because when you said FOMO, I resonated with that, but not in the same way that, okay. that you're describing. Mm -hmm. For me. As a musician, my FOMO has always been fear of missing out on being like that guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that guy in the scene. Yeah. While being as young as possible. You know what I'm saying? That ah, young, young yeah. guy. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, it's always felt like that. That wow. I've always been like, like, that's what I'm afraid of missing out on is being at like, you know, I don't want to be, I don't want to be 70 by the time I can play. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know you know what yeah, I mean? And, yeah. and, so, uh -huh. and so, like you said, mm. um, it's interesting because I've been, I've been, I've been on guitar for about ten years now. I mean, I've been, I've honestly been all over the place because I, I, I like a couple of years ago, I thought I was a piano player, so, <laughs> so I stopped playing guitar for like what? Yeah, I stopped playing guitar for at least like not not stop playing in general, but yeah. stop learning. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a big difference for like coasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For like coasting, yeah. A year, maybe, or wow. yeah, maybe more. Because mm. I thought I was a piano player, then I thought I was a bass player, mm. then I was producing. <laughs> then, you know, then I was the focus was production. Uh -huh. You know, and and I realized that yes, to an extent, I want to put all of it together, uh -huh. um, because at the end of the day, I I I want to I want to be able to create high level music. Yeah. yeah, but at the mm -hmm. same time, I love playing music too. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, you said that you like folk. You're you're now in this in this place where you're gonna focus on one genre, That's right. and I want to do the same thing. I just want to focus on jazz for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, like you said, if you're not playing. You go these genres. You go miss. You, just, you, you feel like you're yeah, gonna miss out on the next set. But but it's, that's no, what I'm I don't even. I don't even mean missing out on the. Well, I guess I kind of do mean missing out on the next check because, but it's not. It, it just feels like you're a, like lesser of a player. Yeah. Uh, in those, in the, in those because areas. everybody else can do all yeah, these all other these things, things at one time. Yeah. But are you? But if you knew mm -hmm. you were gonna be a great, let's okay. Mm -hmm. If it took ten years for you to be great at everything that you want to be great at. But you knew it could took ten years, but the first two you have to study calypso, or you have to study yeah. you have to study like yeah. some off yeah. uh yeah. thing that you never heard of. But yeah. you have to study that to get the at the ten years you get to be good at everything. Yeah, which one do you do? Do you not take the two years? No, you take the, the two you years. take the two because you got what a guarantee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the end, yeah. that's the only way. Yeah, but if 
I feel like we aren't giving ourselves mm -hmm. the chance to guarantee ourselves that we're going to be yeah. good. So you give up on yourself before you even get. So there. you give up on you. You give up on studying the one thing that's going to keep you rounded. That's going to keep you rounded, sort of, kind of, mm -hmm. or the one thing that's going to be your stepping stone. Yeah. Instead of yeah. You going around in a circle trying to figure out which one you're gonna, which one you're gonna be good at. Like you feel like you're gonna land on what you're good at. Yeah. Mm. You, it's a lot. It's a lottery. It's gotta be purposeful. It's got. It can't be a lottery. It's gotta be like. Yeah. All right. I'm playing jazz. They, when they hear me for the next year. Yeah. They're gonna hear Miles, or they're gonna hear. Yeah. Give me a great guitar player. Um. Larry Carlton. They're gonna hear Larry Carlton. They're gonna hear Prince for the next year. Yeah. Like man, every lick you, every, every for the next year, everybody's gonna know me for being mm. a, the 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 Prince or lick Isaiah Sharkey person, yeah. Isaiah Sharkey type person. Yeah. If you take that time to just be that, yeah. The journey of that mm. translates to the journey of other styles, yeah. styles and other yeah. people, and yeah. learning other people. Yeah. Once you can learn to learn. That's what I got from Mustafa. Once yeah. you can learn to learn, learn, yeah, that one yeah. person's style. Yeah, will they call it Will Miles? Yeah, <laughs> they, yeah. they 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 call they call they call it this good. He was Parker for one year. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah. you heard it. Yeah, because he studied it so much. Yeah, but in that time, after that, mm. now he can now he can switch, switch to anywhere. whatever you yeah. want to do. Yeah. Yeah. But if you do that at the beginning, when yeah. you're still learning, mm -hmm. you're thirty percent into this one and thirty percent into that one, thirty yeah. percent into that, thirty percent into that, twenty percent over here. Yeah, you're you not gaining any knowledge. You're not you you you. It's like you you're mastery. You running around. Ways. You can function in the world. Yeah. Now you pro you provided for your family. You're great. Yeah. But when you actually want to be great at what you to the point where you're, where I feel you're talking about being great at something. Mm -hmm. It takes the journey of that first journey. Yeah. Yeah. People are gonna call you yeah. whatever you regurgitate. regurgitate. But if you're regurgitating everything, you're doing what everybody else is doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, you know what I'm saying? You know how it translates to me? Like I was listening to like like lately this this past week I was listening to Latin music, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like I was like, who is this? And I was like, I listened to it, the greatness is already in it. And I talked to some people who are Latin. I go, who's Henry LeBeau? I was like, he's like one of the top guys. The greatness, because he speaks Spanish, mm -hmm. that doesn't take away from the greatness. I, You can hear the greatness in it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it attracts you because you're like, yo, this is excellent. It might be in another language. It might be in a culture. But you can tell that the level, like if you listen to Celia Cruz, I was listening. To, I went to Guitar Ooh. Center one time. And I was this guy was playing like Celia Cruz. I'm like, what? You know, Celia, you know, people say Azuka. You see, yes, you see her all over the place, yes. right? Yes. And she's been famous for a long period of time. You're like, there's a reason for it. There's a reason why she's great. I started listening to her music. I was like, oh, this woman is off the chain. I didn't realize how great Ooh, right, she was. Uh, Celia Cruz. Celia Cruz. Celia Cruz is a Latin Cuban artist. Like black Afro Cuban artist who's mm -hmm. been around for for a long renowned. period she's for renowned. She's like the best in her in her genre. Yeah. She's like the top of the line. So her and Willie Colon and like um, uh, Henry LeBeau, like I didn't even know about this guy Henry LeBeau, but just listening to because he came up in the, in the playlist. Mm -hmm. I was like, this dude is off the chain. I'm like, and I went back to some of the Spanish. He was like, yeah, he's like. He's like one of the top people. People used to be like going fawning. Mm -hmm. Women used to wait outside his house, like stalking this man. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. this guy is like a, a superhero in that world. He's right. great. And I'm saying to myself, but I could hear the greatness because I wasn't even trying to pay attention to this. I was just like, you know, listen to the show, but he just stood out. Mm -hmm. And I was like, but I realized you have to get to the point like we were talking about. You have to be able to stand out where people are like, it's almost like, you have to be so great at what you do that people who don't even recognize what you do recognize what you do. So it's like it's like somebody could be like, you know what? People know somebody who, somebody who's like Caucasian or white. They know who Kirk, Kirk Franklin is. They might not listen to his music, but they know him because he's out. He's so big. He's outside his genre because mm -hmm. he's that guy. He's that guy in he that didn't Stop being Kirk Franklin yeah. and do a bunch exactly. of other people's stuff. Mm -hmm. Most of the people that, that we see actually making it, making it with some actual money, money, mm -hmm. 
they didn't stop being them. Exactly. They never stopped. They were being always them from the beginning. Yeah. They they made some maybe they made some tweaks in the beginning. Mm-hmm. But after that, yeah. I'm pretty sure the team was like, Hey, you don't do this because that's just not your exactly. that's just not your brand. That's yeah. not sure. Exactly. I believe I think I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take this approach with it. Mm-hmm. You have to have whatever you're doing be your brand first. Yeah. 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 What Whatever you're doing, that's you. your brand. That's you. Like yeah. when they see you, yeah. oh man, he's finna kill. He's finna kill that Prince solo because yeah. that's what he. Do- that's, that's what, what he, he does. does. Yeah, that's what he does. Like if I see you two, three years from now, yeah. but you're not still working on Prince stuff because you already did that. Yeah, and you wanted to do something else, but like I can still, you can still, I can still hear it. And you I can see still that still it into your plane. But mm. to Prince's credit, mm. when you when you copy something he did, yeah, in his greatness, mm. you're it kind of. It translates a little bit to you, yeah. Because if you can copy it to that yeah. point, and yeah. people can hear it and feel that in you, yeah. that in you, yeah. No matter what you go, whatever, no matter what you get ready to go play, yeah. it was played to a level of excellence. So now, whatever you play in, yeah, it's gonna sound it's true. It's gonna have it's that like similar to it because you got you're gonna always be you. That's yeah. true. Yeah, that's true. And it's gonna always be you. Yeah. If you were the type to not master things, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, but. If you're the type to master things, you can you have the time mm-hmm. to master one thing. thing yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you know what's the scary part? You got like that push like that. Yeah. You know what's the scary part? Like, people don't understand how influential Chuck Berry is. Like, I was I was listening to every guitar player, and there's a little bit of him in every guitar player. You can't get away from him. It's like literally because he started rock and roll, mm-hmm. people think about everybody else, the Elvis and him. It's really Chuck Berry. So Chuck Berry, just his guitar style, he wasn't like playing a whole bunch of lines and stuff, but just his way of playing, da, 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 all that stuff. You, I went, I went, I remember one time I was looking at Jimi Hendrix, which is a great guitar player, Johnny B. Good. I went and looked at a video that just popped up, Prince playing Johnny B. Good. It's Chuck Berry. You see all these other guitar players, country art. It doesn't matter who you are, you can't get away from this one man. Like he'll, like his, just his one line that he did. Is it every guitar player? You can't, no matter what style you do, he's in there. It's like, it's so weird that one person, if you listen to every guitar player, like every great guitar player, mm-hmm. he's in there. And it's so strange that that one person could affect so many so people. Many. He's a star you know for the delta of, of, yeah. of that style, man. It's, yeah. it's like, you you got to just, like, like I said, mm-hmm. if you're not afraid, yeah. Then you can be the master of what you want to be the master of. That's yeah. true. Yeah. If you're not afraid. If you're not afraid that yeah. it's not gonna happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And in, in the time, and, and then, you know what? Remember we talk about this whole thing about like not even a, if it's if it's only if you're not afraid. Not only addition in addition to that mm-hmm. is that you have to be able to do it regardless. Do it regardless. Yeah. yeah. Regardless of of the circumstances being a certain type of way. Like how long do you feel like? Like you, because to be honest with you, in mastering the guitar, there's certain or mastering any type of music, there's only a certain amount of things that you you'll be able to do, right? Mm-hmm. Now you do you finish doing those things at it depends on would take you twenty years, ten years, depending on how much level of of practice that you put on that one thing, right? Mm-hmm. So you master that, and then there's something else to master later on. Mm-hmm. But how long do you feel like you need to to you know what I'm saying? How much time do you? In mm-hmm. my mind, it's like as long as it takes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For some people, like like I have a guitar teacher that, that I used to teach, and he, he mastered a lot of his stuff within three years. So he was he was doing eight hours a day, living, living, breathing that, but that was his journey. He said, by the time I was your age, I was already doing this, this, and this. But that's you. That's not, not me. I have other responsibilities. I can't right. be you. I can only be myself. So I don't have a problem with taking the journey and knowing that I'm not going to give up on it no matter what. Yeah. I don't have to right. be here. It's great. I'm eventually going to get there. I don't have to get there in somebody else's time. I have to get there in my time, and I have to take my time with myself. Because some days, I won't even play the guitar because I need to take a step back and then come back at it in a different... Be fresh. Be fresh in a mm-hmm. different perspective. Yeah. You know? Hey. Yeah, I'm man. Be thinking about it. Hey, man. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey. Are we still recording? Bro, you're yeah. gonna you're gonna be great. Yeah. Appreciate Decide it. to do. Yeah. I know it's it's what you're used to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But when you decide, I'm telling you, it's gonna it's gonna if if there's any anxiety, yeah, mm-hmm. it's gonna take that away. Yeah. Because you've decided this is what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Hella high water. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're in stage four. Yeah. 
of whatever you want to get into. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you skip, you already know all of this for a bunch of things already. You already did one, two, and three for a lot of things. I got a feeling that you did that already. Yeah. Get here, when you get here, I'm going to give myself three months. Yeah. And wait, I think the drive that I think you have, mm -hmm. you'll be where you need to be. Yeah. But everything else, yeah. Like everything else, oh, I, like that's how I do, that's, that's how I do teaching right now. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> yeah. Teaching is like, yeah. okay, I know enough yeah. to side by. Yeah. yeah. I got enough energy in me to, like, okay, yeah. here, yeah. this assignment's blah, 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 blah. No extra, I'm not giving, I don't give no extra. Yeah. I'm not giving no extra. I'll leave that 320, I'll give that 830. Yeah. No extra for that. Yeah. I want the extra for what I'm doing. Mm, yeah. 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 You get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It's like they actually say, like, mm. I've decided yeah. I want to do for yeah. me yeah. at this time. Yeah. You're cool. Yeah. Don't take it no type of way. Yeah. But me, yeah. I'm going to be at home in the studio figuring, mm. figuring yeah. stuff out because that's what I've decided I want to do. Yeah. Cause it's your life. Like, this is cool. Yeah, this yeah. pays the bills. I'm like, oh, awesome. <laughs> but yeah. I have the perspective also that mm. one is one is too close, too close to nothing. Yeah, yeah. That's how I feel about the whole job situation. You can picked up and sent to another school. Yeah. The first time I got surplus, I picked up. <laughs> it was like, oh, you were supposed to be at that school on Friday. It was Monday morning. Oh, what? We need you to drive over there right now. Yeah. And sign in. I'm like, you got that type of control over my life? Like, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, exactly. Like, I'm surplus. I'm just yeah. like, you don't have enough money to pay for me here. Yeah. Oh, we budgeted you to be over here. That you know what's so funny? You should say that, bro. I was thinking about it. It is, and that's why you got to you got to yeah. just you got to be like, okay, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> no, exactly. But you know, I was gonna tell you one thing, and I'm gonna finish done. off. Yeah. Is is that like, and then you have set mentions this before, like. People in my position, like in management or other things, mm -hmm. you can't go a certain way. Like certain people kind of got fired for certain things yeah. this week, right? Like you can't do, you can't really have freedom when someone can just manipulate you wherever they want to put you at. Yeah.